Welcome back to Gillis TV here and you know this video is going to be about the signing of Noah Dobson and what it means for the Edmonton Oilers going forward with Evan Bouchard but before I get started hit that subscribe button hit that like button as let's try and get 10 likes on this video and let me know in the comments for my subs and new subs and viewers do you like the gameplay on the back or would you rather me on camera let me know down in the comments section as like I said this video is about Evan Bouchard and the Oilers but the signing of Noah Dobson has a kind of impact on the Edmonton Oilers in a sense as him and Bouchard are very similar when it comes to stats and how they play and it will be interesting to see if maybe Evan Bouchard gets the same deal. It was three years, four million dollars AV. If I'm Edmonton, I'm looking Bouchard. Hey, eight years at 4.5 or four million. Try and get him on the lower end of things, but longer contract means he probably wants a bit more money later on. So that's why I said 4.4. But you go through these stats and they're very similar. Like, the only thing that Dobson has on Bouchard a bit is the power play time he gets and how many actual power play points he has. And Dobson also has played a few more games. But that being said, Bouchard does still have another year before his RFA status kicks in that the Edmonton Oilers have to. And no doubt in my mind will sign Evan Bouchard but going off of this they could kind of get contracts negotiations going between the club and Bouchard as we take a look at the stats so in 160 games played Noah Dobson has scored 72 points so that's roughly just under half a point per game player you look at Evan Bouchard 102 games played 49 points that's just shy of half a point game per game player. Evan Bouchard, th plus three, 32 penalty minutes. Noah Dobson, minus three, 34 penalty minutes. So yes, Noah Dobson's played more games, so the penalty mil minutes on Bouchard should decrease after a full season in the NHL. But like I said, the power play time is what has given Noah Dobson kind of that upper hand on this is Evan Bouchard only has nine points so for 40 of Evan Bouchard's points have been or sorry 39 because he has a shorthanded point too 39 of Evan Bouchard's points have been five on five Noah Dobson on the other hand no shorthanded points has 28 power play points 44 of his points have been five on five so Essentially, him, like Noah Dobson and Evan Bouchard, are really similar. Noah Dobson, of course, has played 160 games, so 58 more than Evan Bouchard. Has uh, 296 shots and 5.7 shot percentage per goal. And Evan Bouchard has 253 at 5.9. You throw those extra 60 games on Evan Bouchard, he's passed Noah Dobson easily. But the stats don't lie. Five on five stats are similar in every which way too between the two guys that I'm looking at right now. And it this signing of Noah Dobson is the stepping stone for Evan Bouchard and the Edmonton Oilers say, hey, let's start at this because you guys are two similar players. He's played a little bit more. But you guys are similar in stats, 5-on-5, five five, points-wise, shooting percentage-wise. Power play points are a bit uneven because Tyson Berry's with the Edmonton Oilers. If Tyson Berry wasn't, there's no doubt in my mind Evan Bouchard's on that top power play unit and has more than 49 career points in 102 games. That's just me. The guy scored four power play goals, has nine power play points, and has little power play time to go for it so don't be surprised if the Edmonton Oilers come out and sign 
Evan Bouchard, if it's three years, I could see it being at 4.5. If it's over eight years, I could see it being up in the fives. But that's because Evan Bouchard has less games played. It's hard to evaluate that. But the kid is unbelievable. And us Oilers fans have seen that through time and time again. What Evan Bouchard can bring to this Edmonton Oilers squad. I'm sorry. Your first... He missed one game last year. Your first... Or that's... Yeah, that's Evan Bouchard's stats. He's missed one game. You have 12 goals in the NHL. That is insane. And that's not even to talk about... Noah Dobson doesn't have any playoff experience. Evan Bouchard does. Where he went... Put up 9 points in 16 games. 3 goals, 6 assists. He had 3 power play points with the power play goal. He shot 39%. His shooting percentage in the playoffs was 7.7. Like, that is unbelievable. Yeah, he was a minus 4. But, who cares? I really don't care. No one else really cares. Evan Bouchard is going to be an oiler, hopefully, for life. But this Noah Dobson signing is, like I said, a stepping stone in the right direction for Bouchard and the Edmonton Oilers at the end of the day. But that's just me rambling on. What do you think about this Noah Dobson signing? And if you're an Oilers fan, where, what would you think his term is? Because like Evan Bouchard, Dobson was taken first round in the 2018 but two picks after Evan Bouchard so let me know in the comments what do you think will happen with Evan Bouchard and the Edmonton Oilers I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you on the next one